Thank you for joining me today where I show you how to create this amazing, beautiful table simply in your own home. For this setup, we're going to use repurposed wine and water bottles that were painted grays and whites to kind of match with this monochrome color here. Some empty Pellegrino bottles that we save. You can save them for meals. It can be any water bottle that's glass uh, that you can technically paint. Labels removed, nice and neat, spray painted to whichever color you want. Today's look, we went and we did grays and whites matching our scheme here. We're just going to lay them out in a pattern. To fill these great things and X in the table, I went to the market this morning and picked up these great leaves. You can fill these with any flower of choice that you pick up in your local supermarket. Doesn't have to be anything too expensive. Simple carnations, white carnations would do well in these. I chose these great, great curly leaves for our centerpiece today. And we're just gonna go ahead and load them in in these bottles. One of the great things of today's centerpiece is that it didn't cost us much and it's just being a little creative, saving some of your things, saving empty bottles, and using them in a creative way to create this great look. So no party table is complete without candles. Tea lights and candles is another inexpensive thing that adds so much to your table. You dim the lights a bit, you light candles, and it's a completely different room, transformed and beautiful. You'd love to have a holiday party that's festive and lit, evening vibe. So for that, we took simple glasses that some of us have at home and just put some tea lights into them. We're gonna go ahead and position them nicely on the table. One more thing about setting your table for a party that you don't have to do everything the last minute. This can totally happen the night before. Completely set, dry set on the table, floral, china, glassware, everything set and done. And all that has to happen the day of the party is warming food and serving. Right now we're gonna go ahead and set our table with china, fine glassware that we chose. Not everything has to be exactly what you see. Think outside the box. You can pick up some great things in some of your local stores. Ikea is a great resource. So is your local Michaels. So for today's table setting, we're using a simple white charger. We're gonna go ahead and set that up. Sometimes less is more, and the simplicity of the cleanliness of this is what's gonna make this table so amazing. We got these great, great plates in Ikea. Super affordable, great look, complements our table great. There are other vendors like that that have these great inexpensive things that you can just complement the table beautifully. We got these white napkins with a little bit of a gray line like a, that we're gonna use. So I love layers on a table. Layers look amazing, although some of these plates you might collect before you start food service. First impression, people walk in, table's fully set, layered up, accessorized. It looks amazing, and it just adds so much to your party. So we're gonna put out the small appetizer plate as well. So normally you won't see an appetizer plate sitting on top of a napkin. I happen to love the look of layered. That's why I went and layered it this way. The appetizer plate will probably come off before you start food service. It's just the vibe of it. Now we'll go ahead and set our table with glassware. For today's glassware, I chose contemporary glassware. Happens to be super clean, neat lines, as you'll see, that complements the look. We're gonna start with a smoke glass that we actually picked up in Ikea. Super cool, neat, complements beautifully our look today. party is never complete with a few glasses. So there's the red wine, the white wine, the water glass. The more glasses, the cooler, the chicer, the more interesting it is. Although you don't need all the glasses, people might not use it. It still adds a beautiful look to your table. So let's load up the table with glassware. We'll now move to setting the silverware. Silverware should always be set knives facing in and in order of the menu. Dessert forks, dessert spoons on the top. Printed menus tell you exactly what you're eating, all the ingredients, 
Food tastes way better when you read it off a menu. For this, we had Love Paper recreate these amazing menu cards for us for tonight, which we'll go ahead and put them out. So of course, seating cards, a very important part, so people know where they're sitting. They don't walk in looking for their seats. For that, we went ahead and created these great little bottles with mints in them, little tag matching the motif of today's party. We're gonna go ahead and put these out. Thank you for joining me today in creating this beautiful table. With a little bit of planning, you can have Scoop Lifestyle right in your